Do you play Lee May in Mortal Kombat 1? Well, here are the best cameos that you need to be using. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's go ahead and get into these cameos. Lee May has some awesome options and cross-ups with overhead options. She's got a good projectile. She's got a great moveset in my opinion, but her main point of play is going to be setting up your lanterns for either lantern plays coming up or just pressure on the field. So how do we get those lanterns out more often and more consistently? You got to use cameos that allow you to do so. And the first option in my opinion is Frost or of course Sub-Zero because of the ability to freeze our opponents. <laughs> and then set up our lanterns and then go for the plays. I think about a frost freeze is a full screen low. Set up our lantern and then just go for it. Of course you can do it in combos. And then not only that, you can get frost orb out there. You have her orb and you have your lanterns. Your opponent has to block that and the lantern and you. That gives your opponent three things to worry about and that's just a lot of mental pressure on your opponent and can really make them mess up allowing you to get your combos in. I mean, obviously the same goes for Sub-Zero allowing you to freeze your opponent, set up your lanterns and then go for the combos that way. Or Cameo, Sub-Zero standard Cameo move allows us to be projectile and vulnerable allowing us not to be zoned out and set up our lanterns as we wish. Just some really good options as well from Cameo Sub-Zero. The same reason why I love playing Cyrex as well with Lee Mei. Obviously the net's a great option for us to set up our lanterns and then go for the combos. Cyrex also allows you to combo off of special moves you normally couldn't combo off of like her down back three. You can call Cyrex out and then do your down back three. Cyrex puts your opponent in the air, allowing you to follow up with a setup. You throw Cyrax out there with your forward cameo and then you play your lanterns out there. You just have so much opportunity for setup. And again, your opponent now has three things to worry about. You, Cyrax, and your lanterns. But the pressure with these combinations is just insane. Another cameo that I love to use with Lee Mei is Kung Lao for multiple reasons. First of all, we have the combo extension, which is awesome. But Kung Lao also offers another projectile as well, giving Lee Mei her standard projectile and Kung Lao's projectile, not necessarily making her a complete zoner, but giving her more zoning options. Put us at full screen, throw our lanterns out, th throw out Kung Lao, and again, giving our opponent three things to worry about. Kung Lao's hat, our lantern, and ourselves, as we can rush in and just really make our opponent hesitate on how to handle all of this. Plus, the teleport is just a great option for Lee Mei to really get in there. It allows Lee Mei the opportunity to control the spacing on the field and either get in close or stay far away as you please. These are just my Lee Mei cameo recommendations, guys. Let me know down below who do you pair up with Lee Mei and why. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time.